doing solely self-concept as it feels so low and still been struggling with suicidal thoughts. I'm still struggling so bad and need help with these feelings and thoughts. SP has been contacting me and telling me he appreciates me, misses me and loves me but my mind refuses to listen. I'm trying so hard to stay here but it's so difficult when my own mind is against me. If your mind is fighting you, what you've got to understand, there's you and there's your mind and you're trying to fight your mind. That's what you just said. And that mind does not run you but it's trying to keep you safe and what it's assuming at the moment is that life is just so bad that you can't possibly go on here and it's trying to help you. It's thinking it's helping. What you've got to start doing with those thoughts, darling, because they're just your thoughts. They're not you. They're separate from you. And I want you to either start telling them off or politely tell them to go away or tell them, I know you're trying to help me, but this isn't helping me. And like, have a conversation with your thoughts. Almost like you're schizophrenic in a way, like you're talking to the voice in your head because that's all it is, darling. And if you can really separate yourself from that, because you can already see they're thinking and they're constant thoughts of the thinking. If you can quell those as much as possible by either saying, thank you, I appreciate you're trying to help me here. You're trying to save me. You're trying to protect me, but it's not helping me. And I'm trying to fight you at the moment and I'd like you to shut up. I'd like you to butt out or you're not helping me. Thank you, but you're not helping me. If you can really separate you from those thoughts, those voices, then you might be able to hear your SP's words more and hear when people are saying to you, it's going to get better, this too shall pass. You'll be able to hear it because you're cancelling out that noise. It's just noise, darling, and it's only there to protect you, to keep you safe, saying to you, oh, not being here is the best option. This is how we're going to feel safe. This is how we're going to feel better. Feeling better would be doing this. It's not true, darling. There's you and there's your thinking. And I want you to be stronger than that. At the moment, it's winning. Every time you hear it, I want you to decide. You call it a name. Someone you hate. Karen, John, shut up. Because it's not you. And start talking to it and start saying to you, I'm not listening to you. I'm not listening. I don't care what you have to say. Like a child chucking a tantrum and saying, I'm not listening to my mum. I'm not playing by those rules. I'm not listening to you. I'm disobeying you. Really separate yourself as much as you can, darling, because it's not you. It's just the thoughts.